action. Okay, so what we're doing now, yesterday, we did the quoting and paraphrasing for the con evidence uh, why sat or why Halloween shouldn't be on a Saturday. Today we're doing the pro evidence for why it is on a Saturday. So what you're doing right now is you're writing down the claim. Where is your crafting the claim sheet? Okay, so anyway, right now we're writing down the claim for our John Boo uh, article. I don't know how you're going to do it. You might want to ask one of your friends to help you, I guess. Hmm? You were probably absent. That was probably when you went home. Give you just about another minute or two to finish up.
Okay. Hopefully you're done with that or pretty close to done. And now we're going to take a look at these. And you have some options here. So first we're going to figure out which one we're going to quote. And really, you can quote, I think you could quote out of any one of these. Quality of information on this article is probably better than uh, the other article that we just did. So when you quote, remember, you need to write it exactly the way that it's written up there. You can't change anything. So here's the challenge that I'm going to offer today. Because I, I modeled how to quote and how to paraphrase the last two days, right, at school, which was over the last three days. Tuesday we quoted, Thursday we paraphrased, we had Wednesday off, yes? Yes. And then yesterday I kept saying last week because it felt like we had a weekend. So I had a day off. But my challenge for you guys is to pick one bit of information and quote it. Then pick another one of these. They're not really paragraphs necessarily, but then paraphrase a different one. Do you guys understand what I want? And if you're stuck and don't know what to do, I'll still walk around and help. But what I want today is for you to take a look at this. One, two, three. One of them you're going to quote. One of them you're going to paraphrase, and the other one you're not really going to do anything. Okay. Okay. One thing that I want to point out is that you do have some direct quotes already in here. There are direct quotes in there. But if you remember when we talked about it, we said that Cookie Nissbaum is a retired teacher, holds some weight, like she has some experience. But like if the US Today or you know, some magazine team interviewed me about Halloween, I, would, I wouldn't consider myself to be an expert teacher, but I guess she's a retired teacher, maybe she knows. Or maybe her problems are different than mine. And I, I don't echo her sentiments. So that's kind of an opinion on her part. The kids are going to be hyped up from the day before. I told you, I feel like kids are tired. But if it's Halloween's on a Tuesday, Wednesday, they're sleeping. They don't sleep well. They're too excited. So that's something else to consider. You can quote other things, though. Like you could quote, remember, can you, if you quote, can you attribute this first part of this to Matt Douglas? No. Who do we have to attribute the first part of this little segment to? Same thing. Uh, the, the before this and the after of this blue is also quote John Boo. In here, you can only, we have to be aware that the National Highway Traffic Committee said, and we can That's only right. attribute to them that way. probably up to that period. And I know that my thing is off, but I blame the smart board. That makes it more challenging. Do you guys think you can do this? Yeah. Okay, so that's your assignment for today. Uh, I'll come around and check them. You've got about 15 minutes to do one quote, one paraphrase. People on the Zoom, you can stay on um, if you want me to check it. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording.